Good morning, Year 3. Welcome back to Multiplication. So how did you get on with the challenges yesterday? Good, I hope. I thought I'd have a go at using some things that I had around the house, and I decided to go for some Skittles. So I've got a pile of Skittles there, and I'm going to work out how many Skittles I've got by following the five steps that you would have done with things around your house. You might want to have a little look and have an estimate, have a good guess. A bit like prediction in science. Have a good guess at how many Skittles you think I've got in my pile. Don't cheat, don't try and count them. Have a good guess. Pause the video and I will come back in just a moment and show you the multiplication and we'll work it out. We'll see if you're right. I want to feel prediction was right. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's follow our five steps. So the first thing we need to do is count the number of groups. And I've got one, two, three, four groups. Then I need to count the number of items in each group. I've got 10 items in each group. Then the third thing I need to do is write the repeated addition sum. So it would be 10 four times. So 10, add 10, add 10, add 10. There's my repeated addition sum. And then I'm going to write the multiplication sum. So my multiplication sum is 4 multiplied by 10. And then I need to work out how many Skittles I've got all together. So I'm going to calculate them. So I know that 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 40. And I also know the same for 4 times 10 because it's the same number. So all together I have 40 Skittles. And let's have a look at Ted's problem. So Ted had 6 plant pots. He put 5 seeds into each pot. How many seeds do you plant all together? So we've got the repeated addition sum. We can see that there are six pots, so there are six groups, and then the items in each group is five. So we need to do five, add five, add five, add five, add five, add five. And as a multiplication, we would do six multiplied by five. So what's the answer? Yep, you're right, it is 30. It would be the same for both, because remember it's the same sum. So how many seeds? There are 30 seeds altogether. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let's move on with our new learning today. So we're learning to multiply using skip counting. We're going to start with our two times tables. I keep saying about those foundations. So let's start nice and easy and then we can apply it to other things. So first of all, there are two sheep in one group. And then it says, how many sheep are there in 10 groups? So let's use our strategy of skip counting. Now we can start with our concrete resources. We can put them all here. These are all our sheep. And there's our 10 groups of sheep. So how many groups are there? Well, there are 10 groups. How many items are there? There are two. So the first factor 10, and the second factor two. So we need to work out how many sheep there are all together. So we can count them in repeated addition. Two, add 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 two. Or 10 multiplied by two. Or we can use our skip counting strategy. So we're doing this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we know that all together there are 20 sheep. And we used our skip counting by counting in twos each time. So we did 10 groups of two using our skip counting. Let's try another one. Now let's try this question. So there are three sheep in one group. And the question is, how many sheep are there in nine groups? So our first factor is the groups. We have nine groups. Our second factor is the number of items, which is three. So we're doing nine multiplied by three. But again, we can do this in skip counting. So we can count up in threes. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So that means that there are 27 sheep all together. Now skip counting is our focus for today. Now, you might want to draw around your hands. That's a really good way of helping your skip counting. Or you could just use your fingers going up and down. So if we practice with our twos, we could think about the two times table. So we say two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 
So one of the strategies or one of the things I want you to work on is practicing your skip counting today. I want you to practice it with the two times table, the three times table, the four times table, the five times table and the ten times table. So just the same as we did with the twos, if it was the tens, we'd say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Once you're really confident with counting up in the skip counting, then you could practice going forwards and backwards. So let's use the tens to show you what I mean. We'd say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and zero. So you can practice both of those strategies for me. It would be really, really good to get super confident. You might ask your parents or someone in your home to time you to see if you can get quicker. If there's any that you're not sure of, lots of times people stumble around sort of six and seven times, then practice those and try and get really fluent. Don't rush on to other times tables until you're really happy with the twos, threes, fours, fives and tens. So this is the task that I'd like you to have a go at. So if you have a look, there we are. So challenge one, challenge two is making sure that you can skip count forwards and backwards. And if you do really work hard and do really well on those, then your challenge three is to choose another times table. So you might choose perhaps the sixes or the sevens. Now, another good way of doing this to work on your skip counting is pretending you're doing something like table tennis. So you might challenge maybe a brother or sister or maybe one of your parents to help you and try and practice the same strategy. So the first person might say zero. The second person would then pretend to hit the tennis ball or the tennis um, table tennis ball and they might say two and the other person then would try and hit it back and say four. Next person six, eight and so on. Practicing going forwards and backwards. But really do work on this because this is so important for your recall, especially towards year four. So good luck, guys. I hope you enjoy our skip counting day and let me know how you got on. See you later.